Oh, yes. So, so tremendous. Alan Robinson to the Los Angeles Rams. Three years, $45 million to the tune of $30 million guaranteed. Easy question. Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Van Jefferson, and now Alan Robinson Sosa. Tell me how this is going to work. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy to think, right? I couldn't believe the notification once I got it. Uh, you talk about a team that's already loaded at receiver. Uh, you mentioned Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, of course. Uh, Woods recovering from a torn ACL, which actually happened one day after they traded or signed um, Odell Beckham, which, right. by the way, they're, they're still not out of the running. Apparently, they still want to bring Odell back as well. <laughs> one so. step at a time, so so one step at a time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's kind of crazy. But uh, you talk about another addition. I think Allen Robinson's still close to that elite tier of receivers. I mean, this is a guy that we probably all forgot about last year. It was a tough season, obviously, for him and the Bears in general. But uh, you talk about the contested catch ability. I think that's one thing that he's definitely going to bring to this offense that Odell definitely was one of the guys that had that as well. But Robert Woods, you know, that's never really been his forte. Cooper Cup may be one of the best separators in the NFL, but that's not exactly his game either or his calling card. So uh, you talk about Matthew Stafford, you know, throughout his time uh, really in Detroit every year, it felt like he's had a guy that can jump up and go get the ball, climb the ladder, as they say, Calvin Johnson's, the Kenny Gallery's, Marvin Jones. Feels like he's got that guy now in Allen Robinson too. I don't know if you've had a chance to go back and watch Allen Robinson from 2021 i plucked you away from the underdog nfl news side um i didn't think he looked his best this past season now his best has obviously been incredible i mean years of 1200 1100 1400 yards receiving and again a list of quarterbacks that Allen robinson has played with matt mcgloin christian hackenberg blake bortles mitchell trubisky nick Foles, andy dalton a rookie year justin fields again he gets matthew stafford now as we said, he's ascended. Um, but again, I don't think he looked his best. I thought he looked a little lethargic. I thought he looked a little slower. But we've seen this work wonders going to L.A. The sunlight is the natural elixir, Sosa. Um, the Rams, who have been tremendous evaluators as of recently, believe he has a lot left. I mean, three years, 45, 30 million guaranteed. That's a heavy investment for a guy really on his third massive contract. Yeah, especially after you lose a player like Von Miller. I mean, that money was basically just allocated to Allen Robinson, right? You talk about trying to fill yep. the need there. Um, certainly a lot of money. And I think it's kind of similar to the Odell Beckham situation where, you know, he's got a lot of big injuries in New York, goes to Cleveland. Everyone kind of expects him to rebound. It continues there. And, you know, they eventually have to release him. Things didn't work there. But the moment he steps down in L.A., it felt like he was – you know, prime Odell again. I don't know what it is about LA. It's the system, of course, that's going to help. Sean McVay, I think, does a really good job at revitalizing these guys. Of course, it's a lot better to play for a team that wins a lot of games as opposed to one, you know, the Bears that are probably picking in the top five compared to, you know, how they did last season. So uh, I think there's still a lot there. You know, I think they feel comfortable, obviously, giving them a lot of guarantees there as well. Uh, and I expect it to work. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how much of a target share this guy can demand and how they're going to split everything up. But you talk about a guy that can be utilized in the red zone, uh, jump ball weapon. I think there's still a lot there in terms of the route running ability, too. So uh, it's it's an interesting addition. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, let, let's talk a little bit more about the fit. You let off some with some really good stuff and you hit on some more good stuff there. To me, the difference that Odell Beckham made last season is felt in a lot of ways, especially in those backside digs, especially into the third and second progression but mainly in red zone and end zone targets. Like I think people forget Odell can win in the small game and the big game. And he definitely did that in terms of his touchdowns. He had 12 end zone targets in, in terms of inside the 10 yard line last year. He scored a touchdown on eight of them. I mean, you saw it week after week after week. It was either instant separation on a slant, great separation going up and getting on a contested catch and a goal line fade. That's something that even though we love the evaluations of Cooper Cup and, and Robert Woods, Tyler Higby's like one of the least efficient, at least the past couple of years, tight ends in terms of inside the 20 yard line, Odell shine there. Maybe this is the area that we can see it with Allen Robinson, get him in isolation, just ask him to win those one-on-one -on -one matchups because few teams, if any, throw the ball more often inside the 10 and the five yard line than the Rams and having this key role player is pivotal to scoring touchdowns in those areas. Yeah, I think that there's no doubt about it. I mean, you, you talk about it, the formational advantages that you have with a receiver of that caliber on the backside and a three-by-one type of formation, things like that, where 
you know Cooper Cup's going to get a lot of attention, well, really everywhere across the field, but especially in the red zone where he was pretty much unstoppable last year. Um, and there was a few instances where Stafford might force it there, you know, in double coverage and gets picked off type of thing. But now having another talent like that on the backside, again, we don't know when OBJ is going to be able to play. It might not be until midseason. Having a guy that can go win a jump ball, uh, you look at the Super Bowl, another contested catch touchdown. Of course, you know, rerouting some of these cornerbacks and getting off the line of scrimmage very easily when you got those shaky uh, hips and loose hips and kind of quick feet. You can start to win a on a lot of those slants like we saw Odell win as well. So, I, you know, there's a lot of fine tune I think, uh, reasons for why you go out and add a guy like this. It's not going to be, you know, 1,500-yard season, I don't think. But you talk about winning in the red zone and making important plays on third down and converting on third and seven and things like that, going through the progression. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of value in this addition. So the Rams over the years with Sean McVay, like during his first couple of years there, they basically were a 11 personnel team, three wide receiver sets like 95% of the time. He got away from that just a little bit over the last few years. And I think part of it, part of that 11 personnel usage is because what we saw from Cooper Cup and especially Robert Woods, how they can play so tight to the formation, how they can be used in motion, they can be used as blockers on the edge, that that's almost irreplaceable. Like even when Odell came in, as you noted, it wasn't to be a Robert Woods replacement. It was to be like the extra man on top of it. And then it took them a couple weeks to adjust without Robert Woods in there because he did so many different things. So let's say in a perfect world, Sosa, Cooper Cup is 100% healthy in week one. Robert Woods is 100% healthy in week one. And so is Allen Robinson. Like, what is this usage like? Because again, Allen Robinson has spent about a quarter of his snaps in the past few years in the slot. These guys are put from all different alignments. Sure, we all think it's going to be successful, but you know the Rams better than anyone I know. Just instant reaction. Like, how do you think they're all going to be used? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it works out. I mean, if you're looking at it from a statistical perspective, you're probably going to be disappointed, right? It might be a 700 or 800 yard type of season. But when you look at, you know, the flexibility, I think that they now have, you look back to last year, they went right back to that 11 personnel offense, like you mentioned. I mean, for a year or two there with Jared Goff towards the end, they kind of got away from it. Last year, they ran more empty, more uh, 11 personnel than any other team in the NFL. And they really put a lot on Stafford's shoulders. I think they feel comfortable doing that. Um, and so there's a lot of use in three receivers, more so than most teams. So uh, you talk about a lot of those bunch formations that's going to run trips formations. I think all three of these guys are going to be very useful like that. Um, those tight splits. I I'm kind of curious to see how, you know, how much positional versatility Robinson can provide. Is he going to be like one of those guys like Woods, like Cup, like you mentioned that he can, you know, be a pseudo tight end because that was not Odell's role. That's why you've seen a lot of Ben Skoranek last year. Um, yep. And I think they really feel good about having three guys that they can mix and match. Now you're going to see a lot of Robinson, I think on the backside and a lot more of Woods and Cup kind of stacked on top of each other, get one of those guys a free release. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see. I, I mean, at the end of the day, if there's a quarterback that I think has shown the ability to work, uh, you know, a lot of these receivers and his progressions and get the ball to all these guys, it's probably Stafford from last year too. So um, I feel comfortable in it. You know, I feel confident that it is going to work out as long as these guys are, you know, understanding that you're not going to lead the league in receiving yards. We know that you're not going to get, you know, 150, 200 targets like Julio Jones used to get back in the day in Atlanta, but you're going to have a legitimate opportunity to make a meaningful impact for a team that's probably going to win a lot of games. Yeah. And win and win exactly how yeah. you're outlining here. Um, okay, final point. And I don't mean to rain on your parade here. It's impossible. I think that. <laughs> you just won the freaking Super Bowl. Don't you think this closes the door on an Odell Beckham return? Like four wide? That's taking it like up a notch because now Van Jefferson truly might be like the best number four in the league. It's it's crazy. I, you know, it doesn't feel realistic to me anymore. I, it feels like it's just not going to happen. I, I don't know exactly what to expect. A lot of the people that are more plugged in than I am, of course, do think that the Rams are still in play for Odell. Maybe, you know, his injury timeline is a little bit longer than we think. Maybe he's not going to be able to play until week 10 or week 13 and be sort of that late season addition. Um, but like you mentioned, they have a lot of resources tied up at this position. Uh, second round pick in Van Jefferson, second round pick in Tutu Atwell, who did nothing last year. Right. There's a lot there, a lot of money, a lot of picks, a, a lot of uh, investment. So, I don't know that it necessarily takes them out of the running for OBJ. This is a team that likes the splash move as much as they like the, the right move, but I, I just don't know how it works. I really don't understand how they're going to kind of juggle all four of these guys if they do bring them back. All right. We always have to close with some fantasy rankings, namely on ADPs. Let me pull them up here. While I'm pulling them up, everyone, we're doing drafts right now over on Underdog Fantasy. Fantasy football never ends. 
best ball tournaments are up and available with a super flex. And this one that I'm going to show you is pre NFL draft. Allen Robinson is being drafted right now as wide receiver 43, just to give people out there a range. That's just ahead of Cortland Sutton and rookie Drake London. It's just behind Rashad Bateman and Chase Claypool. And in fact, his teammate Robert Woods at wide receiver 39. Again, we saw that Cooper cup was the biggest difference maker among all wide receivers in fantasy football last year. Robert Woods missed half the season. Odell had some huge numbers as well. Once he, you know, got settled into that offense, I have no idea where to gauge what Allen Robinson is going to be, but the money, the money makes me think among this passing offense too, and how much, like you said, they put on Matthew Stafford's shoulders, a top 36 season is absolutely viable. And I think this is going to shift quite a bit because I think a lot of people believe that Allen Robinson was going to go to a, a bad team and maybe be the number one or number two there. Technically, if we're going to simplify it, the number three on one of the top five offenses in the league. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the age old question, right? Do you want to be a target hog for a bad team like an Amon Ross St. Brown? Or do you want to be one of these guys that has, you know, a touchdown upside? Maybe your floor um, is a little bit lower because he's not going to get 10 targets every week and 100 yards every week. But it feels like he's going to be a safe bet to maybe get a couple of touchdowns, you know, every, every week. It feels like he might have a chance at a touchdown every single week, especially depending on how they use him in the red zone. So uh, you look at some of these other names there, Rashad Bateman, you know, what kind of passing offense is that going to be? Is he going to be the receiver two there, three, one? We don't really know. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked to see, you know, Robinson climb those, uh, those ranks, especially yeah. when it comes closer to the season. I mean, you talk about Robert Woods too. Is he even going to be able to suit up for week one? It sounds like he's going to be back for OTAs and training camp and all that stuff, but we don't know for yeah. sure. And, and they always say, you know, it takes a year to kind of get comfortable. So I think he'll climb those ranks for sure. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see where he lands. Yeah. Again, I've, I've a little questions that Adam Robinson isn't the same player that he used to be, but I also think his game can evolve a little bit and talk about using players where they win. The Rams are tremendous at that. Sosa, you're the man, everyone out there, go and follow him on Twitter, go and follow the NFL underdog team, the news team on Twitter as well. They're ahead of all the insiders when it comes to posting all the news items as well. All right, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff down below. We'll talk to you all soon. See ya.